Hi, it's Emily Lee, Part of Art from the Heart, and in this video I'm creating a paper smooches card using the Southwestern Charm Stamp Set and Southwest Icons dies. I'm also watercoloring and stamping with Nicholson's Peerless Transparent Watercolor Papers. I previously shared a product review video on those watercolor papers, and you can watch that via the link below. The three dies that come with the Southwest Icon Set are for the Solid Cactus, Cocopelli, and Lizard. First, I need to separate them with wire snips. As I mentioned in a previous video, I always snip the attachments as close to the edge of each shape as possible. This means two snips for each separator and it prevents scratches and cuts as well as unsightly marks when die cutting in the negative or dry embossing with the dies. Since I'll be watercoloring, I'm going to die cut the lizard and the frame one die from Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor Cardstock. This is the heaviest and whitest watercolor cardstock I've seen and I really love it. I'm using Ranger Archival Ink in Jet Black to stamp the image and sentiment since this ink is waterproof. I love the sleepy eyes on the lizard. He can almost put me in a trance. I use the grid mat to line up the frame one die and the sentiment before stamping. To choose colors for water coloring the lizard, I'm using the color swatches I created in my previous video. I'm going to use Forget Me Not Blue, Peacock Blue, and Butterfly Wing Blue. I pick up alternating blues and add them to the lizard without worrying about blending or splotching. After all, he's supposed to be scaly and the cardstock is textured anyway. Initially I use Bismarck Brown for the eyes, but I decide later that it's not bright enough. Next I decide on Burnt Umber and Ikru for the ground, but I need to stamp the cacti first. I want to use Myrtle Green, Olive Green and Mountain Green for the cacti, but whether that's possible remains to be seen. I take my Ranger Mister and spray the watercolor papers with water. I did not speed up the spraying and stamping time so you can see just how quickly these sheets dry. It's really quite amazing actually. Not all of the sheets dry at the same rate and you can see that it's literally impossible to stamp with some of the ones that dry almost immediately. The cactus on the right was stamped with mountain green and the one on the left is stamped in myrtle green. I wanted to add another cactus and olive green, but that paper was determined to stay dry no matter what. Either way, it was really fun to experiment with stamping on these watercolor papers. The two cacti provide enough scenery for the lizard, so I clean up and prepare to watercolor the ground around the trunks. Again, I've selected burnt umber and acru for the dirt. I only have to apply a bit of color and then spread it out to create the illusion of depth. I take a second to consider coloring some dirt underneath the lizard, but decide against it. Instead, I use the acru to brighten the lizard's eyes. After that, I use mauve to color in the lizard's tongue. Before assembling the card, I want to add a layer of interest between the card base and the frame one die panel. I recently bought these new tissues by Cosmo Cricut. They're to die for. I love light materials like vellum, crepe, and now patterned tissues. I absolutely love these khaki gold triangles and thought it would work perfectly with the theme of this card. 
First I tear out a sheet, then I add foam tape to the back of the lizard to attach him to the frame one die. Choosing a card base proved to be difficult this time around. Do you ever have this problem? I ruffled up the tissue the way I want it to appear in the card just to get a visual on how it looks. Then I used the grass water dye from the Borders 1 collection as a guide before tearing the tissue. I trim off the excess while holding it against the card base so I know how much I need to reserve before tearing off the other side. This is where I decide that there's too much green and switch to a charcoal card base. This seemed too dark, so I tried three different grey bases before settling on the lightest one. After the tissue is adhered to the card base on an angle, I apply foam tape to the frame 1 panel and attach it to the card. Using the grid mat, I make sure that the focal point is centered on the card. When that is finally in place, I can trim off the excess tissue. Now my card is done. I did mention in the previous video post that there would be a giveaway. I'm celebrating 1,000 YouTube subscribers and, as a big, big thank you, I'm giving away the Posse Icons dies and Tag Stitch die, along with gold sequins and pastel pencils. This package has a value of $43, and if you'd like to win it, all you have to do is leave a comment for this video on YouTube. I will announce the winner when I post my next video for Paper Smooches. Good luck! Please refer to the supply links below if you're interested in any of the products I used in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my cards. Thanks so much for watching.